so Odie came to me. He's a 12-year-old Mustang. Hadn't been started. Hadn't been worked with. Uh, he was captured as a nine-year-old. He was in the facility for two and a half years. And then he was adopted by my client. And she's had him for like six months. And he's just been hanging out at her place, being a horse out in the corral or the paddock or the pasture or you know, whatever, whatever she's had him in. So I've kind of been his first engagement, his first, his first uh, work. Okay, so I just did a thing. Been working with some new, some new science, some new down regulation techniques. And this is Odie. And this is his first time with the saddle on. Like, I just put it on like 97 seconds ago. Over, But uh, I just wanted to say, I don't know what, I'm just cranking on the adrenaline and the, the dopamine right now for me. I mean, this is such, such a high moment. But anyway, so, after I got all this work done, I was like, wow, I wonder what, what I can do with him. You know, he's just feeling super good. And so I got this little river that runs out back of my place. I thought, well, let's go down to the water, you know, let's, let's go walk through the water and see how he does with going through the water. And on my way to the water, I've got this, this bridge that I built. built. It's kind of a suspended free bridge, no side rails, and it's just, you know, a boardwalk bridge. I thought, well, let's see if we can go across that. <laughs> and, uh, Sure enough, he did. And so after I got that done, I was like, well, let's go head down to the water. And we got down to the river, and I mean, it wasn't even a hesitation. Not even a blink. I mean, he just walked in the water like whammo. And so he just walked right in. After we got the water done, I was like, well, this is flowing nice. I mean, he's staying so calm and so, so, uh, so soft and just so so down and quiet about everything i like well let's go up to the horse trailer so we go up to the horse trailer and up the doors and i walk in and you know he pauses for just a few seconds and then steps right in the trailer and i'm like yeah this is so freaking awesome right because this is the down regulation training this is you know the horses finding calm in the chaos right they, they their guard their caution level is so turned down right this this ventral part of the polyvagal nerve is so down regulated right the heart the lungs the facial expressions the breathing the stomach everything is in homeostasis it's just flowing i'm not kidding man we flowed right in that horse trailer like zero issue Matter of fact, he self-loaded again after I, and the first time I backed him out, first time I've ever backed him out of the, well, he's never been in, the, well, the first time he got in the trailer, he just stampeded out when I opened the door, like he met me at the door and he came out hot. So this time, I load him in, ask him to back up, and he just backs right out of the trailer, steps off the edge, steps right back in, like, no big deal. <laughs> he's just walking around like he's been saddled 217 times. He didn't, and it, the saddle is zero concern. Again, this is having the autonomic system down-regulated, right? Everything feels safe. Safety is such a key factor. So, what's happening here? And so, if you know me, you know I like to, I like to know where the edge is. I'm always like pushing to find the boundary. And then once I find the boundary, I like go just past that to see what happens. And so things are flowing so damn good. And I'm like, all right, all right. And so then I go around the side of my tack room and I grab my saddle and throw my saddle on him. And then during the whole video of me cinching him up and, and doing the saddle, right, I had to hold the phone in my mouth. I didn't have anybody to video, so yeah, the video's not the best, but seriously, this all happened. So I, I left the round pen, like the end of our training session today, we had a couple hours and I was like, let's just go cool off, we'll hang out at the river. So we did the bridge crossing, we did the water crossing, we come up and self-loaded, we loaded in the trailer, and we put the saddle on for the first time, all of that, the very first time, all within about a, all right, I'll be generous, a 30 minute window. Gosh, I can't believe this just happened. So this is like, mind fry, for me. I don't know, maybe some of you have known this and been working on this for, you know, decades or years. I don't know, but the level that we just tapped into this. So let me tell you, 
You know how many hours we've been working with Odie? I'll look at my phone when we're done here, but I'm going to say less than 15. This is less than 15 hours of you know, human horse engagement training, but it's been 15 hours of this polyvagal theory as the foundation. Mental safety, reciprocity, uh, social engagement. That's all we've been working on. Build, 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 build that, and then building that, we start putting it under pressure and just building, it gets stronger and stronger. So much so that we did all of this in 30 minutes. I'm going to be smiling for like a month. Yes. So freaking cool.